What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counterpunch Boxing News. And I have to counterpunch something upon request. Mr. Ezron Small, you requested me to counterpunch Hatman's um, video from, I think he published it last night. But it was basically comparing Anthony Joshua's resume to Deontay Wilder's and Tyson Fury's and how his resume destroyed Deontay Wilder's resume and Tyson Fury's resume. Now, I've read, I've seen this video and I heard, actually I had it, I heard it last night going to the gym and the hat man puts out some good content, you know. He pushes out good content. He does this research. You can tell he's a fan of the sport. And I, to counterpunch Hatman, I have to agree with him. Um, everything that he talked about to a T. Basically, Joshua, you know, Joshua has beat Klitschko. He's knocked out Klitschko. He's knocked out Charles Martin. He's decisioned Joseph Parker. Um, he's knocked out Dillian White. Um... He stopped Carlos Tackham. Eric Molina, you know, even though Eric Molina and Deontay Wilder uh, has fought also Deontay Wilder, Joshua did it better. He did it quicker. You know what I mean? Where Molina gave Deontay Wilder problems. You know what I'm saying? So I know styles make fights, but Deontay was rocked in that fight. Definitely. You know, Deontay with Wilder was rocked in a couple. He was dropped in a fight that we can't even find on. We couldn't even find on the Internet. You know, I think that's like the powers that be, you know, snatched that from the Internet. You know, somebody should repost it. It'll probably go viral at this point. You know, especially after Deontay Wilder is getting his so-called mini Google search, you know, um, award. You know what I'm saying? From ESPN, basically. Right. Because that's what that was based on. You know, how many times people looks look you up. And um, be mindful, you know, a good friend of mine also, you know, let me know. You are you look up people because you don't know who they are. That's a very good point. Thank you, Bruce fucking Vane, for that. Because that's true. And I didn't even think of that myself. If you, a lot of times when someone says, you don't know who, who you don't know who that is. You know, you don't know who um, who um, Eric Roberts is. You know, you know Eric Roberts? No, I never heard of him. Man, you know Eric Roberts from that movie from back then? No. Then what happens? Let me go to your phone. You go to your phone. You pick up your phone. You know, you look him up. Oh, yeah, I know that dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right? From that one movie. I couldn't remember the name of it. That's what happens. So that's a very good point. So shouts out to you, Bruce fucking Bane, for that. Um, but back to the resume at hand, you know, let's look at Tyson Fury's resume. Um, Tyson Fury, he fought Chisora, and Chisora gave Dillian White problems, with which Dillian White is a good opponent. He's one of the top heavyweights today. However, what foiled that is Chisora fighting Dillian White the second time. It was a good fight. Don't get me wrong. 11 rounds of hell. But Dillian White showed that he was better than Chisora that night. I would love to see a rubber match, but I think they have to do more things. Um, and besides Chisora, you had Steve Cunningham. He was a decent fighter. You know, but could he beat Joseph Parker? You know what I'm saying? Um, McDormand, he fought him twice. And McDormand actually dropped him in the first fight. So, um, I think that, you know, he got his revenge in a TKO stoppage in the second round. And then in the second fight of the ninth round. And that was a good fight. But then it's like, okay, McDormand, you know, who do you see him who do you see on Joshua's roster of the guys that he's beat that he can beat out of those guys, those beaten guys? You know what I'm saying? Like, let's take a look. Um, I don't know. Who who can he beat? You know, um, he might can beat Eric Molina. I don't know if he can beat Carlos Takam. You know what I mean? Klitschko, no. 
Uh, Charles Martin, mm, I don't know. Maybe. You know, Joseph Parker, no. You know what I'm saying? Like, Dillian White, no. So these are just five. Now, mind you, Clint, Anthony Joshua hasn't been in the game that long. He's only had 22 professional fights with 21 knockouts. So he has excelled in a massive, in a massive rate. You know what I mean? He, like, he's in that quick learners program. You know, if he was a truck driver and he was learning how to drive trucks, he would be in that four weeks, you know, versus the people would have to have five or six months to go uh, to, to stay in uh, the class to learn whatever they need to learn versus someone that's doing it in a short amount of time has to be a little sharper, smarter, you know, or more dedicated, a better way of saying that, you know. Um, but his resume, even compared to Fury's, let's look at Fury's. You know, he did have Klitschko, you know, Klitschko, that's his ace in the hole, Chisora. So Klitschko, Chisora, and he drawed with Wilder, okay? Wilder, Spilka, Molina, Washington, Ortiz is his best win, and he drawed with Fury. So, like, there's, you can't compare these two. It's like a watermelon to a grape when you're comparing resumes, right? Now, again... This has nothing to do with their fight or them fighting each other. We've seen what Fury and, what, and Deontay Wilder can do, but we have not seen what Wilder and Joshua can do. What can it produce? But we can. But going off these resumes, it doesn't count. That's why. Since it doesn't count, what does that mean? That means that Joshua is getting the money that he deserves to get because he's took more of the risk because he's fought the better opponents. Bottom line. So when you're trying, when people are trying to argue at, jo uh, at Joshua, trying to tell him, "Oh, give me 50-50 for this guy with this one belt that won't give it up, that's holding it for ransom," a lot of people feel um, it's hard for him to be like, mm, "I would, but no, I'm not give this motherfucker 50-50." You know what I mean? And Fury wants the same shit. You know, he wants 50-50. So that's why these fights are not happening. You know, the value, because see, Joshua is, he is right for knowing his own worth, but what isn't right for people not to know what they're not worth, you know, their value, like Wilder's value, he is basically a four or five million dollar fighter. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what he, they offered him in Showtime. Nobody knows, you know, but him and probably his wife and the people that gave him the money, right? Nobody knows how much that is. So he's a guy that does, he doesn't even, his value is a question mark, right? So since his value is a question mark, you're trying to fool the public on making people think that you're worth something that you won't even show what even, what's your dollar amount. You know what I mean? What is your salary? That's like going to a high-end job, applying for the CEO of a, or a partner, and they and then they want to know what your what your past um, bank statements were, and you refuse to tell them. You know what I mean? Like, well, what are you worth? What did your What did your numbers make? What were you getting? What were you receiving for your for your um, compensation? Oh, I can't tell you that. So Tyson Fury, you know, he's done a great comeback. It's a great story. I'm I'm happy for him. It's success in the boxing game. You know, he, he has his contract and stuff like that. But, you know, he's on the throne at ESPN at top rank now. He doesn't have to fight Joshua, but his resume is no better than, it's better than Wilder's. Wilder's in third place, where he belongs. Bronze. Tyson Fury is silver. Anthony Joshua is gold. Makes totally perfect sense. It fits like a puzzle piece. And that's what it is. So, yes, I do agree with the hat man. Again, great comp content. You know, um, a non-biased guy that just doesn't see things one way. You know, um, who wins in a fight? They all got to fight each other a couple times for us to find out. You know, if Fury can really beat Wilder, he needs to outbox him for 12 rounds instead of 10. You know what I'm saying? And then we'll see who is better out of those two. If that fight happens, you know, but honestly, I feel me counterpunching that fight, 
Like Adrian Broner said it best, you're fucking the money up. But that's all Deontay Wilder's doing because if he gets in there and he doesn't knock out Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury's going to outbox him by default. Bottom line. You know, if he can't land those punches, you know what I mean? If he can't land those punches, he's in trouble. So, but anyway, you know, he won't take the chance with uh, with Joshua because he wants more than he's worth. That's my counterpunch on it, guys. You tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.